Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be filming something slightly different and I thought it would be really fun to film a bit of an autumn winter 2019 lookbook. And I'm gonna be putting together a couple of outfits to hopefully give you guys some inspiration, some ideas coming into autumn winter. So I really hope you enjoy this video. It's the first kind of video like this that I've done. Um, but yeah, I just really fancy filming it today. So if you do enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Of course, I'd love to have you. And yeah, if you wanna see some autumn winter 2019 outfit ideas, then please keep watching. Okay, so we're starting off with this outfit that you've seen and this is a gorgeous white roll neck long sleeved top from New Look and this is a gorgeous rust coloured satin skirt also from New Look and then I've got these kind of nude colour boots from Topshop and they were in sale, they were an absolute bargain, they were 20% off, which is amazing. And of course, as always, I will leave links to everything in the description below. So if you like the look of any of these outfits today, then hopefully if they're still in stock, then you can shop them. And I'm also leaving my Instagram handle on the screen as well, so you can see more updates from me and more outfits from me as well. And I also got this gorgeous black bag. It's like a faux croc print bag with a gold handle. Um, and it's perfect size for your phone, for your keys, everything. And that was also from New Look. Now at the second outfit today, I'm trying to use as much as possible a, I suppose, more minimalist style to my wardrobe. So I'm finding pieces that work with a number of different outfits like this white long sleeve top. Now in this outfit I've paired the white long sleeve top with a pair of jeans and these are my favourite jeans ever, they are fit jeans and oh my gosh if you have ever tried a pair of fit jeans you'll know, if you haven't then get to know, they are honestly the most well fitting jeans that I've ever tried, um, they are slightly on the more pricey side but I would say that they are totally worth it and I absolutely love this outfit just for a more casual everyday kind of look in the autumn when the weather's slightly warmer. Now I'm also wearing the fit jeans in this outfit but what I've done is I've teamed it with a blazer and I'm also wearing a white scalloped top from Zara. And this blazer is, I believe, from Pretty Little Thing. It's actually from last year's collection, but if they have got something similar, I'll link it down below. It's really, really lightweight, and I'm absolutely loving neutral tones this autumn winter. So having this neutral jacket just goes with absolutely everything, and I love the white and the blue from the jeans with the neutral color jacket. And the other thing I love about these jeans is just the rips in them. I haven't really been a ripped jean fan in the past, but these rips I think just look really great and they're in great places and they just add something else to the jeans. So I think this is definitely a staple outfit for me. Now I've dressed up the jeans with slight, something slightly more formal and I'm wearing this, it's almost like a little kind of Dalmatian print blouse and I absolutely love it. I got it from Topshop and I think you can wear it dressed up formally and you can also wear it dressed down with maybe a skirt or here a pair of jeans. And what I've also done is I've added a pair of black boots to this outfit just to make it slightly more dressy. So perfect for dinner, perfect for going out for a few cocktails with the girls. It's perfect. Now, as I love this blouse so much, and um, because it's black and white, it goes with so many other outfits. So I've teamed it here with a pair of flared, almost culotte style trousers, and these are a very autumnal shade, and they're also from Topshop. I've actually sized down in these trousers, so I've got these in a size six. I'm normally a size eight for frame of reference, 
all my other clothes are a size 8 to 10 or a size small um, but I've had to size down in these trousers because they are slightly oversized um, and they nip you in at the waist and my waist is probably the smallest part so as long as it gets over my thighs then they're the main issue. <laughs> But I thought these colours worked so well together and I'm just feeling super autumnal in this outfit. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm trying to be as versatile as possible with my wardrobe and I'm picking pieces that mix and match really well with other outfits. So here I've gone for something super cash and I've just teamed these trousers with a really cosy white jumper. Now this jumper is from In The Style and I've also got it in a really gorgeous green colour as well and I absolutely love it. I think it's from Laura Jane's range. I'll double check and of course link everything below. But what I've done for a really, really casual, relaxed look is just team the trousers with a really oversized, not really fitted jumper with balloon sleeves and then I've also teamed it with a pair of chunky trainers from Zara and they are complete dupes for the Balenciaga trainers. I love them. Now I'm teaming the same trainers and the same jumper with this gorgeous skirt from New Look. Now this is a kind of spotted skirt but it's not really spotted it's almost just like a bit of a mixture between spots and an animal print and it's a wrap skirt and it is absolutely beautiful it's such nice quality and it feels lovely and it's one of those skirts that can just go with every outfit now you tie the top of the skirt to nip it in and so it fits your waist a bit better with this tie detail so I do like to tie it up a bit further just to make sure that it fits properly. Now this is more of a day look but moving into the evening I have teamed that exact same skirt with a black long sleeve roll neck top from New Look and also a pair of black boots from Topshop and I absolutely love this look because it's really simple but I think the black and the black and then a printed skirt just looks really classy and elegant and it's not too much I think if you'd have a printed top as well it would be a bit too much but the beauty of this skirt is you can dress it up for a night out or an evening or you can dress it down and have it really casual with a jumper during the day and trainers. So the next outfit is a gorgeous pair of pretty little thing joggers. Now I can't believe it's taken me this long to get my hands on a pair of pretty little thing joggers. It's taken ages, but I've got a pair and oh my goodness, they completely live up to the hype. I love them, they're so comfy. They've got a tie detail so you can snatch in that waist. And I'm also teaming it for a casual look with a pair of those white Zara trainers and also a little bit of a stone crop top. And it's just a really casual day-to-day -day look and you can always throw over a jumper if you're going out or a jacket or a coat on top. But if you just wanna laze around the house for the day, then this is what I'm gonna be wearing. So that crop top is from Pretty Little Thing and again I'll link it down below and here I've just switched it up slightly by adding a pair of mum jeans. Now these mum jeans are the Primark mum jeans and they are so affordable and such a gorgeous colour denim as well. 
I've got these in a size 8 and they are slightly big for me um, so I probably would size down in these. I originally got a 10 and they didn't fit me properly so I went to an 8 um, but I still think they are a little bit big so I definitely recommend sizing down. And now I'm just teaming this for a more casual look with the white trainers and I've also just got a throw on jacket which is really lightweight but it's from New Look and it's just this khaki colour just to add something a little bit more to cover up if you're heading out and about. That concludes my autumn winter lookbook. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been something a little bit different and it's not something I've filmed before. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be really fun to do something a little bit different on this channel. Um, if you did enjoy it, I'd love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'd absolutely love to have you here. And I hope you stay tuned for the very next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.